Hello guys, it's Chris here with my brother. Yo. And we're gonna talk about the game. Yes, we are. So, uh, yeah, well, it's a zombie game. Obviously, with the zombies and the dead people. Yeah. And the guns. And, um. Uh, did I mention zombies? No, I did. Okay, zombies. Zombies. Yeah. And, uh, it's gonna be. We're gonna try and create it very dynamic. Yeah. With a lot of stuff to pick up and use. We want it to be great for you guys who like to pick several items up, stash it down a bag, and then run away with it, screaming like little girls. Yeah. <laughs> because we all combine apocalyptic zombie apocalypse stuff with picking shit up and running away. And, uh, yeah, so... The game. Probably go over like the first things we've been thinking. Like uh, we've been doing a lot of work on uh, like different categories. One of the main things first was like food, uh, yeah. since we sweets really like like our food. Yeah, the the important thing, one really important thing in the game is obviously food and different food types. Yeah, and we, we wanted to. Keep it, uh, you know, only have food that we find in Sweden. Yeah, it, it's, it's based in Sweden. We've, you know, we've been talking and discussing this. And we, we've had a lot of games in either places we don't know where they are, or in uh, obvious pro-American places. So we figured, hey, why not have a zombie apocalypse game in Sweden? Yeah, because, you know, we are obviously, we obviously know Sweden, so... It's easier for us to... So, Americans don't know America? Yeah, that's what I meant. If if we oh, try yeah. and create a zombie game in America, it will be more difficult than in Sweden. Because we live in Sweden. So, so you don't think that Ameri if actual Americans play our game, they're going to be like, What the hell is this country? It's small and thin. And I have rain all over me. Yeah. What? <laughs> I don't know. Really? <laughs> Hell, I don't know. Well, whatever. Let's, let's let's move on. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, Sweden. Yes. Uh, food in Sweden. Um. You know, we have three different categories. Uh, so far. So far, uh, with the different food types, and that is fresh food. You know, like uh, fresh fruit, veggies. Uh, ve veg yeah, veggies. And uh, and then we have dried. But don't forget, like, meat and stuff. Yeah, meat, of course. Uh, fish, chicken. Stuff like that. You know, yeah. um, recently butchered meat produce, I suppose, as well. Yeah. And then dried food, like uh, nuts. And dried meat. Nuts. <laughs> and dry, dried fruit. And Swedish nuts. And, uh, 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 and also uh, dry food, like... Uh, uh, spaghetti and such. Spaghetti isn't dried. F nah, but it's dry food. <laughs> well, you know, he's talking about like stuff like uh, you know, uh, dried pork. Uh, you got like uh, uh, dried fruit, stuff like that. Uh, things you could find in bags, which uh, contains very or none moisture. So you know, it's it's got a prolonged. Life during say yeah yeah won't start rotting in the immediate second the apocalypse occurs yeah exactly and what I meant with the spaghetti is that we also have that and it's yeah anyway well, yeah. let yeah let's move on yeah and then we have uh, well uh, canned food canned food right yeah uh, and that will be canned food that we find in Sweden like uh, moose Apple. meat all right apples we got canned apples? No, pears. Pears, yeah. And, uh, uh, uh pine pineapple? Yeah, pineapple. Oh. It's awesome. Uh, alright, so, and then we have a lot of different groceries, I guess. Well, what we're trying to get over, like, you know, get to the point here is that, uh, we got several different kinds of foods. We haven't really decided what kind of. Big difference is going to be between the foods, except that uh, the fresh food is probably going to be the ones uh, dying out. It's the ones probably going to feed you the most, but it's also the kind of food that if you don't get them into like a fridge, something they or a freezer, they'll die. Yeah, they'll they'll uh, start to rot. And also, they have a chance of being uh, 
poisoned or you know so if you eat them without yeah, you can get food poisoning you can yeah because vomiting and stuff like that yeah and that's not really like, going to be good I, I never eaten like veggies just zombie might have puked over or stuff like that yeah I don't think it'd feel pretty good mm, eating that nah nah uh, oh and one thing uh, you as the character you won't be able to be zombified Oh yeah, we we discussed discussed this several times over. Uh, we did feel like it's going to be like not not quite like a roguelike, but you know it's still going to be a challenge. But we did feel that uh, you you shouldn't be like summified just because you couldn't build them. Uh, we haven't decided why yet. Like if we're going to be some kind of uh, immunity to the poison, uh, the plague. Yeah. Uh, we, we both agreed on that there's no, like, huge goal in the game. Like, there's no, like, oh, you are the only one that doesn't get zombified. You need to go spread your blood all over people. I mean, sure, you might want to enjoy yourself cutting your wrists and spraying <laughs> it on people, but I think they're more likely to shoot you instead of thanking you, you know? Yeah, you know, we're, we're not gonna make, uh, create any mission for you to go and save the world with your blood or something. Yeah. I mean, we, we wanted to avoid that. Yeah. You know, you're just an ordinary peop man or woman. Woman, woman just, you know, trying to survive the zombie apocalypse. And, and you just happen to be the one rolling lucky on not getting zombified. Yeah, died, yeah. I guess. Yeah, because, you know, it is a game, so... I mean, we don't want you guys to, like, uh, pile up a load of stuff you found first day, and then the second you step out of the house, you get, like, scratched by some, and then it's, oh, Okay, sorry, man, game over! Hey, no! <laughs> yeah, because if we made you... If you made it possible for you to be de infected, you would probably have like a couple of days or maybe one day until you get become a zombie. And during that day, you would spend, you know, rushing around trying to find an antidote or something. So that we wanted to avoid that as well. Yeah, we didn't really feel like there should be like some antidote by hand to just grab and, you know, use. Yeah, because we, we don't we want to stay like away from stuff like. Uh, the hell is that other zombie game? You know, run, 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 run around the mall? Uh, for zombie? No, not for. Isn't Dead Rising? De yeah, Dead Rising. Yeah, they have like some anti cure virus thing that works for five hours and then you get poisoned all over again. Yeah. Yeah, we, we want to avoid that kind of bullshit. Yeah, and also if we. Thought something I thought about when I wanted this. Uh, you, you know, in Oblivion when you. When you're infected with. Vampire. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yes. you, you spend, like, you rush around trying to find the freaking antidote, and it's horrible. Yeah, I think I spent, like, two, three hours in that yeah, game, and just trying you, to fix up Yeah, and if you, if you don't find any cure, you will be screwed, you know. You can't. Well, I mean, uh, unless you don't like being outside of day. Yeah, but still. But, you, you know, you can't, it's not fun just running around at night. Well, especially not if you, like, uh, you play a character where you don't want to fast travel between places. Yeah, true. I mean, if you get stuck outside in the sun, you're pretty much bummed. Yeah. Unless you've been drinking lots of blood. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. back to the game. Oh, yeah, shit. Uh, so, that's uh, that. Uh, I guess we don't have to cover more food and stuff. Yeah, because, you know, you know what food is. Uh, one thing, though, on the technical side of it, uh, it will be really easy to create different items. Uh, it's just one line of code, or, you know. So that makes us able to uh, create a lot of items really fast. So th yeah, that's a good good thing. Yeah, so we can like be spamming a fridge full of uh, Cheerios or something like that. Yeah, you know, fun stuff. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and uh, um, while we're talking about items, we could go over the weapon system. Ah, yes. What isn't more important in a zombie game than what kind of weapons you use to kill them with? Yes. So, zombies for uh, doesn't have any health. Mm -hmm. mm. They instead have four. Uh, their bodies consists of four uh, parts. Uh, so we've divided it into uh, the legs, uh, the arms, uh, the body, uh, the chest, and uh, the head. And for each part, there is a twenty-five percent chance, a uh, chance of hitting and if you hit uh, the head the other zombie will obviously die 
But if you hit any other part, like the legs, you will get slowed if you're lucky. And if you hit the arms, if you shoot off both the arms, uh, he won't be able to hit you with his arms. Yeah, or well, like grab you and hold you so he can chew on you. Yeah, and stuff like that. Instead, he will maybe use his uh, bite. Yeah, stuff. I mean, we, we talked about this for quite some time, I think. Trying to decide yeah. if we wanted to have health bars yeah. on the zombies, or if we wanted to have like these hit areas. Yeah. I mean, we, we decided that uh, it was a better idea to have hit areas instead of like, you know, oh, well, this zombie has 100 health, and if you hit the head, it's a critical. Uh, yeah. we, we talked about that first, but it, it didn't really feel right. Yeah, because it's so easy to create a system like that, just having health, and it's so boring and dull. Yeah, and I mean, come on, if you hit a zombie in the head with a golf ball, no, a golf ball, uh, a golf bat or whatever it's called, or, you know, anything, any kind Baseball of blunt bat. and heavy item, uh, especially zombie skulls, I, I really do reckon that uh, they they die. Yeah, they should get crushed. Yeah. I guess it depends on the swing of your blow, but really, we want to do this because it's it's more interesting and it, it'll mix stuff up. Yeah, so, you know, if you... Uh, I don't know if we're going to create any system where we can aim at the special bot part, but yeah. if we, if you, you know, you get a chance to maybe just shoot the leg of a zombie and then run away, so you can save bullets. Instead of doing like for zombie, where the zombies actually run and you have to kill them, or else they follow you until you get out of sight, and that can be really... Oh yeah, this is sweet. We don't really have these huge depots of uh, guns and bullets <laughs> and stuff now. I think I think the closest thing we've ever seen to a gun is like an old army pistol. Or yeah, a fodder hat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's really so. You're not gonna find a machine gun laying around on the ground or you know in someone's house. But, oh, I see the zombie apocalypse has occurred. It's a good thing I saved this AK-47 under my bed <laughs> all these years. Yeah, thank God. And all these bullets. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Five thousand bullets right under my bed. Mom never <laughs> asked anything. <laughs> so yeah, yeah no, no, nothing of that. I'm so sorry. yeah, so melee weapons will be a huge, huge part of this game. Oh yeah, you, you want to get close and nasty with zombies. Although you don't really want to do that, <laughs> but if you really have to, I mean, like yeah. skulls. Uh, so it will. You know, until you find or create your own shooting weapons. We're going to create our own? Yeah, maybe. You know, we will probably have some, you know, skills where you can put together pieces of items into one. To maybe have a bow or something. or something like that? Yeah, if you, yeah, if you have some, some sticks and then... Uh, um, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you, can, you can play Robin Hood with the zombies. Yeah. I'm here to kill the zombies yeah. and give their brains to the poor. Yeah, you stand on the roof and shoot them with a bow. Yeah. That would be awesome. <laughs> we might even make like some gray, uh, green clothing. Like, yeah. <laughs> tight, tight shorts and stuff like that. Yeah. Maybe a hat. It'll be un un unlockable. Just send some money to our PayPal. <laughs> Robin's Hood. Oh yeah, Robin's Hood. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, uh, you know, uh, things will be discussing further, but uh, yeah, yeah. We weapons will be a uh, limited rarity, Yeah, at least until you start running into, like, uh, Swedish military and stuff like that. Yeah, and we also thought about this, um, uh, we'll talk about skills later, but if you have a skill, like uh, mechanic or something, I don't know what to call it, yeah, well, uh, sorry, you sorry. might be able to uh, put together some some air pressure machine with some, uh, you know, something that shoot nails or something, and you'll have a stationary turret of some sort, or trap. Well, you, you, you know, it all depends on what we can really make up, and if yeah. you guys have any good uh, ideas. You yeah, know, you know, sure. none of us have been in the army or something, so we don't really know anything like that. Well, I know how to build an AK-47. Yeah. I love those things. I yeah. got five under my bed. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. you got to be prepared. And uh, if we talk about the how to the, uh, we also have a, a hit al algorithm for the weapons. Mm -hmm. So each time you uh, shoot or try to hit, a random number between zero and forty will be generated, and then each weapon has a plus chance. So that will be added to the uh, num value, and that's just because. So, you know, so certain weapons might have a bigger hit chance than others. And then each entity has their own skills with that 
with a certain weapon. So if you use a pistol and have good skill in pistol, you will have a bigger chance of hitting with the pistol. So yeah, and then we'll be, and then we just, you know, it's uh, the skills range from one to fifty points, and each point give a, a half percent uh, chance uh, uh, of uh, hitting. So. Uh, half percent uh, 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 if it's a bit complicated yeah but, I mean <clears throat> every item is gonna have its own like um, percentage which then adds onto the uh, percentage you have with the weapon itself so you, let's say you have like five percentage on weapon and then you have with the skill uh, small firearms like a pistol you get like 25 percentage you've been using pistols a lot so that gives you a base of 30 percent added to the hit algorithm yeah. and then you have like the roll and let's say you get 30 plus mm. that means you got about 60 then uh, percentage on the hit algorithm yeah. and uh, looking at the list and that will mean that you'll be hitting the uh, torso the body yeah but before we can actually you know before you hit the body, we will do another random generation uh, between zero and your percent chance that you got. And if the you, you just made all our viewers deaf. <laughs> you hit the microphone. With the phone. Oh god! <laughs> oh <laughs> sorry. Sorry. We're sorry, man. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, and if that. Um, and if the ran in the if the new random number is within the uh, is between zero and in this case sixty, then you will hit the body. Yeah. Uh, if not, you will miss. So it's a bit complicated. I hope you understand, but it's a it's a good algorithm. I think things interesting, as we just said. I mean, um, yeah, yeah, I think we're gonna use this especially for firearms. Since uh, we haven't really decided if we'll have like starting perks, like uh, oh well, I I, were, I was a soldier before the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, uh, I'm a bit better with guns. So we, we haven't decided if we're gonna go with that, yeah. or if we're, we're gonna like, just start over from scratch. Yeah, because one thing with, uh, for example, for zombie, uh, you have a lot of classes to choose from, and all the classes have starting skills, and you can't really remove all the skills. Uh, like if you're a soldier, you can't go below 40 in pistol skills, so you don't really have that much of a uh, freedom to create to customize your class. Yeah, so I mean, are we gonna go like we'll give you a total amount of points? Yeah, like let's say 20 or 40 points yeah. that you get to distribute between mm -hmm. skills yourself. Or we'll just make it like, you know, oblivion wise. You level the skills up depending on uh, depending on how much you use them. Uh, I guess that it would be a bit cheesy that you start off with zero skills at all. I mean, you've been living a life and stuff, all, all stuff like that. Yeah. But uh, it's still, we're still thinking about it. It's not, you know, decided yeah, yet. You know, it, it would probably be good if you, you know, had a number of skills. And then each skill is at one point, and then you choose uh, yourself, everything, and then we might have some classes that we, you know, that might, uh, you know, if, if you want something close to a soldier, exa for example, you can click soldier and almost all the stats are as you want them, and then you can customize a bit more, you know. Yeah, I guess, yeah. you know. No, wrong with the council, but we decide for it. Yeah, we're gonna talk about more of that, of yeah. that later. So, uh, nothing of this that we talk about now are actually, uh, you know, put in stone. Oh, yeah, of course, this is like still in the making. We're not even into alpha. <laughs> no. <laughs> we just started on this. But we made a lot of progress, and I, I th think that talking about it and, you know, trying to tell you guys that we're trying to make it more, uh, a bit different from other zombies games yeah. might. Get some more attention. I mean, we are borrowing from other games, but we're trying not to uh, mimic. Yeah. We're, we're trying to make our own game, and uh, something we are using as a kind of a guidebook or rule book, if you would like, is the uh, the zombie survival book. 
And to be honest, I really, I, I've had some people who had issues with the book and think it's crap. But uh, <laughs> to, to be honest, personally, I, I don't really give a shit. <laughs> it, it's like one of the few books which actually have like this the do's and don't in guidelines of how to survive the zombie apocalypse. And uh, I, I think I think that's a bit better of a guidebook to use than uh, random people spouting insane stuff on the interwebs going tra la 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 la. Yeah, you know, it's a really good book. It's, uh, you know, it's like a, you know, it is a real book. It's like it's, if it's, uh, you know, the world has actually been through a zombie apocalypse once before. Yeah. Because he has studied it so well. And, you know, really makes you want to go out there and buy a shotgun or something. <laughs> yeah, get a machete. Yeah, too bad we can't do that in Sweden. <laughs> or can we? Well, yeah, but, um... Uh, the idea with the AI for the zombies we also got from the, um, the book. Uh, since, uh, well, in the book it's all, all about the sixth sense, sense that zombies have. And uh, we're gonna be a bit more like Fort Zombie on this part, that uh, zombies are in general very, very stupid. They're not, there are pre they are predators, but they're not that smart. So if you would manage to, say, perhaps uh, distract the zombie with loud noises and then run away, uh, the zombies would not follow you directly. Well, I, I guess we're not really even talking about if we're gonna have like smells and stuff like that, or if we're just gonna go with noises. Yeah, I was uh, thinking about that. Um, uh, you know, a zombie is, is a dead person, right? And the brain isn't a hundred percent, you know, functional as a human brain is. Yeah, it's decomposed. Apparently. Yeah. So the first thing is that. We want zombies to walk slow, you know, just get from point A to point B really slow. Yeah, well, I mean, the scary part with zombies is not that they're fast or they're strong. Yeah, no, that's just annoying. Them. Yeah, the scary part with zombies are there's so many of them. Yeah, you yeah. You one guy against, what, 50, 60 zombies? Yeah. You really have all the ammo and they, to go up against And them. they don't feel pain and they'll never stop, you know? Yeah, they won't tire. We will, we'll, uh, we will have stamina, just yeah. so you know. So you, so you uh, have to sleep and um, you can't run for as long. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Th this is a big part. I don't know if you've thought about this. Uh, this is the first time I'm in the videos. But uh, we did say that um, we'll have three different walk or well, you know traveling modes. Uh, number one is you know running. Running. It takes a lot of stamina, but it's also very fast. Then we have power walking. Uh, this is the normal movement mode. This is when you walk, but you walk faster than zombies. So none of that bullshit that you're like dragging your feet and trying to effortlessly uh, get away from them. Uh, you're, you're power walking. You're walking faster than they can like uh, drag themselves towards you. Yeah. So as long as you're power walking, that's fine. But uh, in some cases, uh, you might want to get out of a a bottleneck area. Uh, you, you may want to run past zombies. You've been trapped by them. I mean, zombies do react slower than you. Mm. So you got stuff like that, and you maybe want to run a bit. Uh, the thing is, if you do run, and you run out of stamina, uh, you'll enter the third mode, which is like exhausted walking. Uh, you walk a bit slower than the zombies then, since you're exhausted. Mm. But, um, you know, if you're careful, don't like waste your stamina running around like a chicken without a head. Uh, you, you know, you should be just fine, really. Yeah, so it is a bit like Fort Zombie where you get exhausted. Yeah, and it's like then Fort you're Zombie, you can actually walk away from the zombie. Yeah, so yeah, I, I, I just hate Fort Zombies running zombies. You know, nah, it's just no, you know, they are. Ten, you, you, know, you can have ten zombies chasing you, and uh, and they spawn right in front of you, and then they run and all that shit, and then you get exhausted, and you know it's just horrible. Yeah, I mean, uh, to be honest, I like this, uh, the idea of like having hordes of zombies, yeah, encroaching upon you and like yeah. you know, surrounding you and stuff. Mm. But uh, we still think that you should have a fair chance of getting away, mm. be it climbing over cars or stuff, or just you know. Managing to zigzag mm. between them, running. Yeah. Um, We're not going to make it too easy. We also don't want to have a scenario where, where you can't really escape because either the zombies are too fast or uh, they keep spawning sheeply right in front of you. Yeah. I think yeah. we talked about like having 
predestined spawn points, and then they used to fill up. Or we're gonna have it random all the time and have it. Yeah, you know. yeah well, I, I don't really know for sure right now, but I was thinking about having them uh, like when you enter a scene. Uh, you know, the game is built up by scenes, and when you when you leave a scene, the the uh, the scene you leave will get a time. You know, a, a time set where when the camera left the scene. So, and when you enter a scene, if the time is uh, is uh, different. different in a lower in a big, uh, you know, if if it's a lot different, a couple of hours. Yeah, then then we will spawn new zombies. But if it's if it is just a couple of minutes or seconds even, then they will. Still be dead. Yeah, and or maybe still just walk around the same way as they did. So something like that. Yeah, I guess we'd also discuss that if you know, like um, if you did did make noises like you know slamming your head against a stone or something to attract sound. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you did talk about that and the zombies heard it and started moving towards you, uh, and if you left the scene afterwards while they were still moving towards you, I guess we were talking about having them still walking towards the sound. Will yeah. Be at the point of the sound, or or maybe just do it in a really cheap way and make them walk towards the exit, so it looks like they're walking towards you, but instead the exit. So when you if you enter in, a, in just one two minutes, they will be in front of the exit, something like that. I don't know. That's a mean. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well you know, you, you exit into a zone you just were at. And just like 50 zombies. Yeah, zombies if they are if they are chasing you and near you when you leave, of course it's gonna, they're going to be there. True. See, so, I mean, why would you run back <laughs> if you know that you have 50 zombies just in front of the exit? <laughs> I mean, I yeah. sense rage quit. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, the zombies fucking ambushed me, assholes! <laughs> <laughs> nah, but you gotta be you gotta be clever, <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah, so can you outsmart a zombie? <laughs> and it will also take some time for them to uh, rotate towards the entity that they are following. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so you can, so you know, that will essentially end up with you know players running around in zombies in a circle or something. <laughs> well, you, you can't make the zombies dizzy. No, of course not. <laughs> Spin them around quickly enough to assault puking. Uh, well, Trumping around. Yeah, Trumping because, around. because that sense is gone. They don't feel that. They're dead. Oh snap. So, zombies can... Oh, yeah, right. One thing. They follow sound. Uh, but I, but I, I've been thinking about if they actually are gonna know, uh, see a difference between uh, living entities and you know NPCs and stuff stuff or like crates or barrels or something I mean for example if the players set up a trap that or well, something that might uh, make a barrel fall and you know then sound would probably be produced uh, so when that sound uh, reaches the zombies they will walk towards the barrel and only and you know walk towards the barrel. And when they come to the target, if they then notice somehow that it is it isn't a living target, then they will just uh, you know uh, return to where they came from. Yeah, right? or maybe maybe pat patrol around that area or something. So I suppose I mean there's also if you have like lots of noises, but then you also make noises yourself. Human. Yeah. The zombies will know that there's a human around and they'll go straight for the human instead of the noises around. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're running away from zombies and making lots of, like, yeah, noises. Well, I mean, we haven't really decided for noises, like, what, what kind of noises, like, yeah. heavy breathing or if you're wounded and it hurts and stuff like that. Yeah. And that's a bit in more in depth, I guess. Right, right now, I have it set up so uh, the, the noise, the walking and running noise is relative to the speed you're moving in so yeah. if so if an entity is moving with uh, two speed two it will be like running so it will produce a larger sound area it would be really awkward if you were like sneaking and you were making the same noise <laughs> and you were running around yeah with then steel boots or something yeah so walking will be safest if you're near zombies yeah so 
and uh, yeah, we haven't really discussed if they are going to um, uh, be able to notice if you know moving targets. So if they look towards you while you're walking, they you know they can't really. You know, they, they don't really care. Yeah, we haven't really customized if, like, mm -hmm. we're, we're going to have rotting eyes, or if they even have eyes, if that's going to make a, a difference, if yeah. they can spot you or something. Yeah. That's a bit more further up the road. So. Yeah, because we we got to make uh, keep it simple and not think too much, you know, make it s too epic. Yeah, we'll, we'll progress slowly. Yeah, yeah, and hopefully get something done, something fun done. Exactly. So that's the zombies, I guess, and the raw. We're gonna talk about the skills. Signs. Yeah, yeah, we have each. Uh, yeah, so we have uh, skills that we have thought about. Yeah. Uh, a few skills, and each uh, entity is uh, built up by skills. So each entity uh, has all the different skills, and uh, then you might think that you know why would a box or a barrel want to have a skill? And that's I'm a box. <laughs> I, I am good. I can run really fast. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's that's actually true. You know, barrels and stuff won't really use the skills. Um, so you know that's why we are gonna flag all the non-living, except zombies. Yeah, well, zombies ain't a zombies aren't in the group of entities. They have their own they're, class. They're non-living, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But they don't have any skills. Zombies don't have any skills? No. Maybe some parkour skills. Like running from roof to roof. Parkour skills. Jumping. Oh, yeah. Jumping and climbing on walls. Yeah. <laughs> you have to <laughs> songs. I want to fight again. Parkour zombies. M maybe a zombie, you know, having a weapon shooting at you. That would yeah. be ridiculous. Yeah. How about we just, like, uh, give them a link to Fort Zombie straight away? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, check out Fort Zombie. You know, shooting zombies. Really? Nah. Yeah, yeah, sure. You, uh, that you're would, dead. That would, yeah. That, brain is melted. It has happened so many times that I, I shoot three times at them, miss, and then they shoot one at, once at me and I die. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking American zombies. <laughs> their bra brains still melted. So they have guns so deep into their bodies. Yeah. Whatever. So they really know how to use them still after death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that would never happen in Sweden. Yeah. Well, I guess like meatballs. <laughs> Zombies still know how to make meatballs. They make clumps of human yeah. make meatballs. Out yeah, yeah, then throw a player or something. Yeah, maybe make like furniture. Yeah. Like zombie IKEA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And one thing to note that the way the entities are built up, you know, the player is also an entity. So the zombies AI will be the same for all the different play uh, NPCs around the world. So that's really neat. To have the you know so they so zombies work you know exactly the same. Yeah, I, I suppose we should talk about like some of the skills we got. Yeah, yeah. Or if we should leave that for another video just to mess with you guys. Nah, you know I, I think this will end up in being a lot of videos and anyway like. Uh, how many? Oh yeah, shit! It will, right now it's two part videos so we can just keep on going. Okay, well I guess we should like talk about the skills and then try to wrap up something. Yep. We've been going for almost 35 minutes. Yeah, so, yeah, so let's talk about the skills. Yes! <laughs> so, we have, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have one skill, uh, small weapons or what you well, want to yeah, call it. Well, yeah, small firearms, like yeah. pistols, magnums, that's what you Yeah, small automatic, automatic weapons, you know, the smaller size. Oh, well, yeah, we, we have small Firearms. Well, I guess if you clump it all together, you like small firearms, like Uzis. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you, you, something you can hold in one hand. Yeah, we haven't really uh, started to create weapons yet. Yeah. So we haven't really, uh, you know, looked up, looked up different weapons on the net yet. We, we will do that later when we... Yeah, you, you get small firearms, and then you have like the medium-sized firearms, uh, stuff like uh, MP5s, um, AK-47. AK no, uh, AK-47 are like large automatics. Yeah, but we only have two. We only got two? Wait, are you telling me we're gonna, not going to have rocket launchers? Yeah, we're in Sweden. <laughs> I mean, really. You're a civilian, and you know how to use a rocket launcher. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what, what, what if I find one? 
Yeah, you know, rocket launchers. You know, I mean, yeah, but there aren't so many rocket launchers in Sweden. Yeah, you know. <laughs> 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 you can find one? Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> nah, but we will have to discuss that more then. I guess. So. What about chain guns? Chain gun! <laughs> if you guess which uh, person that's from, then influence to you. Yeah, okay. and then we have melee weapons. You know, you know that's self-explanatory. Yeah, well, you know, we really did go for this. That melee weapons will be the like the stuff you can find. Yeah, that's the mo most usual things you might find. You know, you can use say guitar if you like. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be really effective, but it would look yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, but you can, you know, the thing is, you can use, you should be able to use pretty much everything. Well, yeah, everything that you could think think of. You know, stuff you can find in your house. Yeah. In your other other people's house. Yeah. Expensive vases. Yeah. Rocks, if you want to throw that, maybe. I don't know, yeah, we'll, yeah. So. Lampposts. Yeah. Wait, aren't lampposts those big? Oh, right, no, not lampposts. You don't have <laughs> superhuman strength. Sorry. Uh, well, you know, stuff, stuff you can find in your house. Just take a look around in your room and think, hmm, could I kill zombies with anything of this? Yeah, and then if you, f if you want to contribute and say that, yeah, well, this item would be awesome. This item would be great to have in a game, and probably kill a you know be able. To yeah, and if even is the case that you might find a broadsword in your house or room, uh, most likely, and no one in Sweden has one. Yeah, and no rocket launchers. Yeah, no rocket launchers. no Wait, what? guns w whatsoever in houses. Well, you know, you, I got an AK forty-seven. Yeah. <laughs> they should. Know. Okay. Well, you know, it's reasonable stuff. Yeah, yeah it, it will be a lot of makeshift stuff as well. Like yes, like if you take some. Actually, we have a, we have a. We got a list. Yeah, we have a lot of paper work. We got here. a list. I got a so list. So we were thinking about having a iron pipe with some duct tape and yeah. uh, knives, and you will get some sort of yeah spear thing. Spear like. Yeah, spear like. The gladiator. Yeah, so you know you put things together depending on <laughs> that was <laughs> me. <laughs> Dep depending on your skills in uh, um, oh right skills in uh, uh, me mechanic. Well, we'll we'll see what we go. For. Yeah, so let's go over all the skills now. We have gone through the weapons. Then we have cooking. So you might be able to take some pears and some sugar and create some sugar pears and then they will explode in your <laughs> mouth so you get sugar pears yeah so you, you might get you know it will be more effect uh, effective effective super effective super effective, super effective. it's yeah. a critical hit yeah it's a critical hit in your mouth <laughs> <laughs> your teeth explode <laughs> oh snap and then we have electrician so you can uh, you can connect different uh, Power generators, yeah. Like you get hot wire cables, yeah, without dying. <laughs> I guess put a fork into the power outfit in your house and see what happens. Yeah. No, well, you know, uh, well, having like skills you can have in real life, yeah. stuff you could need if you want to try and build a safe house of some kind and survive. Uh, use electricity. You know, you can hot wire a power generator to your house. Yeah. So you get some kind of power. Yeah. And then we'll use generators to, you know, so you need uh, oil or gas. Yeah, or like if you're actually really freaking lucky and you find like solar power. Yeah, yeah, and, I mean, and actually know how to uh, use, uh, how to, uh, you know, use them. Use well, them. I depend if they're actually already on a house, they're usable. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but but maybe they will be damaged or something. Yeah, it depends. Yeah, because uh, before dying, the house owner went up on the roof and smashed all the uh, solar panels. Yeah, die, son. So Our. so we'll somehow create the solar panels or something like entities and then script them. Yeah, as probably, we're yeah. as we're using Lua, so it's easy to script, and we didn't we don't ever have to create our own scripting language. Precisely. Yeah. So anyway, that's. That and then we have interactions. So with uh, you know how well you interact with other uh, NPCs. Think charisma. Yeah, for you RPG for it. Do you want me to smash? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I like RPGs too. Mm, exactly. Uh, then endurance, and that's uh, you know 
how long you can run and how long you can stay awake before you fell into a fall fall into sleep yeah fall asleep fall asleep yeah that's yeah. why I have you what yeah you you have to excuse my English yeah uh, anyway then survival skills uh, uh you know how well you're on uh, ident identifying Vegetables, no, not not vegetables, but like yeah, plant life, plants and that roots you, and mushrooms. Yeah, that you can eat and not, you know, that you don't get poisoned from. Yeah, I, I suppose we should also like add stuff like being able to hunt wild animals for fresh meat and stuff like that. Yeah, that also further down the road. Yeah, that's something we have to Talk discuss about. a lot more. Because, yeah. yeah, but that's later. We're not, we're not gonna bother with that now. Uh, other than that, we've got a bunch of other different skills like mechanics, uh, handiworks, gunsmithing, um, uh, medic medical skill. Yeah, difference. medical skill. Yeah, we're yeah, translating medical. from Sweden right away here. <laughs> and then we have like first aid. Yeah. That's actually the same word. Yeah. So, uh, we got like several different kinds of skills which all do uh, their own little parts. Yeah. Uh, things we think. Uh, should make things easier for you to survive with. Yeah, and I, I don't think we want to really overdo this, you know, add a lot of skills just to have a lot of skills. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we'll try to clump together. Yeah, so we don't Restore. end up being like a uh, dwarf fortress where you have hundreds of skills for, you, for your dwarves. Do we have dwarves in our game? Zombie dwarves! Zombie dwarves! Ah, bear! <laughs> Under your bed! <laughs> or in your closet. That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> bear! Yeah. Yeah, they want beer. If you give them beer, they will be your first pers personal bodyguard. Man slaves! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ooh. That took a wrong turn. Uh, do we have anything else to go over right now? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We've talked about the weapons, the skills, the zombies, the food, uh, the food, the and if you want to know about the how we separate the player from other NPCs, uh, the camera has a follow target. So uh, if you set that follow target to an entity, that entity will be, you know, the player. It will be, you know. So we take for granted that the that we want to f that we want the ca camera to follow the player. So you can actually th that way you can have multiple you can control multiple characters. So if you might have a team or something, or instead of having uh, your team uh, have you know stupid AI, they you can control them and you know manipulate them how you want. So you, they do what you want them to do. And that would you know that could be pretty good. Worst case scenario, we'll just throw a rocket launcher at you to distract you. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, look shiny, it blows stuff up. Go grab it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I hate the AI in Fort Sami. You know, one of my teammates got stuck in a house, so I had to <laughs> run back and get <laughs> him out of the house. Him. Yeah, it was so so stupid. What about betting if uh, he'd get killed? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll try and avoid having followers being retarded. Yeah, uh, we're gonna. It's. I, I guess it's a bit easier with having 2D instead of 3D. So I hope it is. No, I haven't really touched AI yet. But I suppose we could just do so that you. Um, you have like. Uh, some kind of neural bombs if you're real good at electricity, so you can like app. Uh, like prime bombs in their skulls, and if they don't follow you like mind slaves, you blow their heads. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would actually be very appeasing. Yeah, but then you will probably have to find some uh, new friends, <laughs> <laughs> or maybe some uh, what's it called schematics. Oh yeah, from America or something, from Russia or something. Mind grenades. <laughs> schematics from China. Mind control. Oh, you don't need schematics for that. <laughs> Just a high skill in mind control. Oh yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. Well, we're gonna end it here. Yeah. I think. Yeah. It's ooh, four, Yeah. It's three videos. So that will be the biggest update of this week. Yeah. I hope you find it interesting. And if you don't, I'll find out where you live. And um, yeah, we're looking to add more there. <laughs> so yeah, this will be 
this is what we have thought about uh, of now right now and we will probably change things throughout the oh, yes. development and uh, let's uh, yeah so I am Chris I am the programmer and I am the cruiser unleashed and he does uh, the level design and uh, items items story. story you know thinking and stuff and I do the art <laughs> art you know that's what you call it it's really a, <laughs> it's really doomsday's upon us, you know, and programmer trying to do art. Yeah, 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 awesome. that's, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm googling. 2012, we released the game. Yeah. Oh, snap. <laughs> yeah. So if anyone want to contribute, contribute. Yeah, contribute like with, art stuff. Yeah, with art uh, and small city stuff. Yeah, may, maybe art you don't, you don't use anymore or something, and don't want money from us for that art. You can. You know, we are we're very poor. Yeah. We are. Swedish uh, computer nerds. Computer nerds. This is not Swedish. This will be a very bad attempt on uh, in German. We, we want your uh, pengar. <laughs> we want your money? No, no, no. Oh, no. no we <laughs> do not want your money. Yeah, yeah. So if you want to, if you have any art li laying around that would fit into a zombie game, and, and just want to have them visible in in the game, we will. Gladly accept them and look them over and see if we want to use them. And if we do use them, uh, we'll add your names as the, uh, you know, like credits. And stuff. Yeah, of course, we give you credits in the game, no, no. but credits. but credits. but not money, <laughs> because yeah. we are an indie development. We are indie developers, and we, we have India? no money. We're Swedish. No, no, we're from India. <laughs> we're from India. Oh God, we're just turning a whole nation against ourselves. Damn it. You do know that India have nuclear weapons, right? Sweden don't. Did, did we mention that we are not from Sweden, we are from Russia? <laughs> <laughs> In Mother Russia. We, vodka drinks, you. Turn off the microphone. Yeah, okay, okay, we're just gonna <laughs> yeah. stop here. We, we'll, see, uh, we'll see if we are there. Yeah, I hope, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, please leave comments. If you enjoyed this, uh, well, even if you didn't, me and my brother will come back in a couple of weeks and uh, talk about further development, I guess. Also, please, if you are Indian, do not start nuclear holocaust. Thank you. We love you, guys. India. Yes, India. India. Yes, forever. India forever. That's a hard thing. Is that a hard thing? <laughs> <laughs> that a hard thing? <laughs> like a piece of crap. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, uh. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, turn the mic. <laughs> let's, let's just end this. Let's <laughs> yeah, and this before you write something. <laughs> Alright, so, okay. Yeah. Bye. Bye.